trying here, but somehow ironing never works for me because the folds just don't come out and isn't that the whole point of it? Good morning, New York! It is a beautiful Saturday. I started the day with ironing for nothing because folds are still in my shirt because the iron just wasn't very hot. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at ironing, but it doesn't matter. There's a few wrinkles, but she'll be right. Now I will get breakfast somewhere. Alrighty, I'm walking through Park Slope in Brooklyn and I'm gonna start here at the two spa. Let's check it out. And there you have it. And now, with my detox shoes, I will explore Park Slope before heading to Manhattan for breakfast. Unless I find breakfast somewhere here in this area. I mean, you never know. Cheers. Very, I feel very detoxed already. <laughs> wow. So this is Park Slope. It's very quiet, very relaxed, very chill. I mean, it is Saturday morning, but it's already 10 a.m., so it's not that early. Feels early here. Very sleepy and relaxed. Alrighty, I made it to Flatbush Avenue. And yeah, I mean, my verdict of Park Slope, it's a very kids-friendly area. Lots of kids, lots of dogs, very quiet, lots of schools, churches but not much happening like I, I wasn't really vibing with it but yeah now we are more in a busier area Flatbush Avenue and I'm gonna walk down to Atlantic Avenue that's the plan okay I decided to have a quick pit stop at Bland Street Coffee and try their normal green tea and have um, blueberry oats so this is what's happening all right, I saw the sign that said breakfast is served and I was like, all righty then, let's have it. And those oats that I had were really, 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 really nice, but not really enough. But that's okay, I can always have another breakfast somewhere. And I'm at the Barclays Center. I think they've got like pop concerts and sports stuff happening here, but what do I know? It's none of those things are really my thing. But here we are. It's it's pretty cool. I have to say. Very nice, very nice. Approved. We belong here, it says. I belong here too. I've actually never been here, so this is the Atlantic Terminal. And I'm guessing it's like a shopping center. Let's check it out. This is pretty dense. <laughs> I expected more from it. I mean, at least we've seen it. Also, I washed my hair this morning and I put coconut oil in it. So I don't know yet if that was a good idea, but we will find out when it's completely dry. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an old, very old fashioned mall. It's not a shopping center, it's a mall. And now, somehow, I ended up in Brooklyn Heights. And I love this neighborhood. This is probably, I mean, yeah, one of the fanciest neighborhoods. Man, is it difficult to find bathrooms in New York. But I'm heading towards Dumbo now, and there, um, at Time Out Markets, there are definitely toilets there. And there's also much a lot there, so... And then I'm taking the ferry to Wall Street. Nice and air conditioned in here. While I was on the ferry coming from Dumbo to Wall Street, I checked my emails and I got a brand deal. I didn't even ask for one. So they approached me and I mean, you'll see the video because I have to do a YouTube short for them. And it's gonna be awesome. And it's a really, really nice brand as well. 
I cannot believe it. It's like I feel like I feel like I'm a real celebrity YouTuber. Like I'm like I, I really am a YouTuber now. Because I mean obviously like I had imposter syndrome in the beginning because there's so many successful YouTubers out there and I was like why do I even try? But here I was trying and now I'm famous enough that people are offer approaching me and offering me brand deals. So yeah, I'm 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 I'm, so, I'm beyond excited. So this is this is awesome, and I could do with a with a cold water because it is hot as beep. And there's lots of helicopters around. The waver tree and an ambulance ready for me having a heat stroke. Thank you guys, much needed. I'm inside that seaport building now and it's like a David Jones market hall if you're from Australia. It's nice, very very fancy, sophisticated food. Do they just have a water for me? Oh I see ice cream. But all I want is a cold water to be honest. Do I need this? This is a mushroom, a portobello mushroom. It's the biggest mushroom I've ever seen in my life. If I had a kitchen here, I would fry up this bad boy. I don't have a kitchen. Next time I need to stay in an Airbnb on my next New York trip. But for now, no big portobello mushrooms for me, unfortunately. This is too fancy for water. Yeah, definitely, definitely much nicer in summer than it was in winter. But I think it would be really cool here if it had snow, then it would be nice. But right now, no snow, it's crazy hot. Also, I'm so excited about my brand deal, oh my god. And I bought a tote bag. It's so cute, it's only $13, I mean, come, come to mama. And now we are in Fidei, the financial district. One World Trade Center behind me. Yeah, it has a very like businessy vibe here. This is where the money comes from. But is this also a place where I can buy water? We don't know yet. We would find out. What a nice building. Very pretty. Doesn't really fit in here. I don't know how it got here. I think water is much needed. And now we are approaching the World Trade Center. There it is. And there is also a shopping area. I'm avoiding the memorial because it's too heavy for me. It makes me really sad. So I'm avoiding it. And I'm just gonna go inside the, what is it called? Oculus. All right, there's something happening before I'm going in. People are seated and there's a big screen. Oh, there's a movie starting right now. Looks like a kid's movie. But it's a very, very awesome projector because it's so bright and the quality is really good. I'm impressed, but I still need water and it's air conditioned in there, so that's where I'm going. Spoiling my appetite for dinner again, but it's healthy. And now I'm at Union Square Farmers Market. There you have it. This is very cool. They've got everything here. my first farmer's market. No, actually I've seen one in Brooklyn once. But yeah, this is awesome.
huge bezel. Also, I just bought this lipstick. I'm not sure about the color, but this is what we're working with at the moment. And I'm walking towards Flat Iron Building, looking for matcha latte. And Chacha Matcha is coming up, one of my favorite matcha places. So I think we're gonna hit that one hard. Pretty, pretty architecture and flowers everywhere. Matcha Matcha never disappoints. Well, that was a very spontaneous haircut here at Tokyo QB House. She was very nice, it was super quick. She only dampened it a little bit, so yeah, it needs straightening in order to look really good. It feels much shorter. It's not that much shorter though, but yeah, she did cut off like all the the dead ends and it was more than necessary and I didn't have cash to tip her so I told her I will find an ATM and come back so let's do that because yeah tipping here is a big thing and I haven't gotten any cash and I've been here for three days and so far I got away with it because you can usually when you pay with card you can add tip anyway a Tesla taxi how cool here, Bank of America, let's get some cash out. Okay, American cash looks so fake. It looks like it's play money. Makes it easier to spend it, I guess. All right, she was happy that I actually came back and gave her $10. She's a hardworking woman in there. And she's done a good job. As good as it gets with my weird hair. And, and the haircut was only $30. So now it was 40, but that's that's actually completely fine. We'll see how Mystery Man feels about it. Because he only likes me for my long hair. And yeah, he didn't want me to cut it, but it needed a cut. Because it got all tangled up on the motorbike when I was riding the motorbike with him. And I tied it up, but the, like I, I was braiding it. And I didn't put the hair tie at the end because I thought the braid usually stays. But with all the wind on the motorbike, it opened itself and then like there were knots everywhere and we were together working on trying to get all the knots out and it was really bad. So that really damaged my hair. So it's the motorbike's fault and that's why I needed a haircut. So hopefully he will still like me when he sees me with super short hair. Only time will tell. It looks awesome, but I just checked it out. $16 for a juice. I mean, that's that steep. Who has that kind of money? Not me. So I'll just keep walking. Arlo Hotel does not only have a rooftop bar with very nice views and loud music, it also has a bathroom up there. Not really. Hashtag jet lag. But it's good for them. I mean, this morning I only woke up at 6 a.m. and couldn't go back to sleep. And I slept like at 11, but that's still not really enough, especially not after sleeping much in the last few nights. But that's okay, I'm not complaining. New York City never sleeps, neither do I. Alrighty, and after this much needed bathroom break, we are back walking up towards Rockefeller Center. And there's like Macy's and like shopping department stores which I'm gonna hit hard because I realized that actually I haven't spent as much money as I was afraid that I have spent so let's correct that <laughs> and then later on I will head back to Brooklyn and I think I will have pizza at Screamers Pizzeria which is my favorite pizza place oh and there's Bryant Park I forgot all about it I love Bryant Park and I haven't been yet, so let's sit in the grass for a little bit and think about the meaning of life. 
I mean, I've already figured it out, but let's still think a little bit more. Maybe I changed my mind. So yeah, if you're, if you're wondering what the meaning of life is, according to this girl, it is to have fun and to create. So that's the meaning of life. But I will have a think, and if I come up with anything else, I will let you guys know. And you will hear it here first on this channel. And there's a free exhibition at the library, which has like parrots and birds. I might do that, but not today, because we have to go shopping. I mean, my money isn't gonna spend itself, is it? Just now that I've got a brand deal. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's just a very, very small, small deal. But still, it makes me very happy and very proud. Because, I mean, I have been working hard on this channel and I've been traveling hard. Like, otherwise, I'd just be sitting at home, but I'm forced to travel all the time and I absolutely hate it. I'm totally lying right now. I mean, the hard work, yes, because the editing and everything, and that I always have to film because sometimes I just want to enjoy myself. But I'm still enjoying myself and I love having you people along with me. And I love you for watching this right now. And where am I? I am. And so I do appreciate everything. But I mean, of course, I love traveling. There is Bryant Park, where there was a Christmas market last week. Got attacked by a pigeon. They had a Christmas market here last time I was here in December. And this is why I cried, because I was just so overwhelmed by like real Christmas and a real Christmas market. But today, no tears. It's only summer and there's only pretty flowers and that's not gonna make me cry alrighty and i let my hair out my fresh new cut hair it is nice i'm, I'm happy with it it's one of my favorite places on planet earth Bright Park. I found water, tint water. Also, it smells really good here from those waffles. But I'm gonna resist and save myself for pizza. They must have some important pigeon business. Very important meeting happening here. We are at the NBC studios. I love it in here. The whole art deco, dark vibe it has going. And it's nice and cold in here as well. And quiet, surprisingly. Do I need anything from the NBC shop? Look. Not really because I don't really watch, I mean, I don't watch TV, so I don't know any of that stuff. But if you know this guy, then there you go. You've seen him here. Big floating pineapple. Something to float in the Pacific Ocean back home in Melbourne at St. Kilda Beach. But I don't think I can fit this in my suitcase. Where's the turtle fountain? Let's find the turtle fountain and then then I think I will head to Brooklyn and have pizza. But first let's find the turtle. Where is it? Ah, is that it? Oh, there it is at the very end. Okay, I will be shopping for a little bit and then pizza, but first a little bit of, oh my god, it's so nice in here. And if you're wondering why I'm suddenly so beautiful and rested, I just had a little facial at this green 
store thing. So she, she sampled products on me and she even gave me some samples for the night mask and everything, which was really nice. So I'll put the, the name of it here if you're interested. It's a very new brand and it does something very special. It's like all natural products, it's vegan, but it has some technology that just makes you stunningly beautiful, as you can see right here. <laughs> and now I will go and get pizza. sitting in exactly the same spot. <laughs> I don't know if, it, if you're even allowed to bring pets on the subway, but it was a fun atmosphere on the subway and there were just some pigeons flying. <laughs> it's all happening, so many animals. Animal kingdom in the subway. Now for me, it is pizza time. I'm at Franklin Avenue and I'm close to Screamer's Pizzeria. It's a little bit of a walk and I'm tired. It's already 7.15 p.m. but the pizza would wake me up and there are the pigeons. Are you guys taking the subway today? All right, we are on Franklin Avenue. There's a broccoli farm for sale. If that's what you want, you can get it here on Franklin Avenue. I just want pizza and it's coming up very soon. And then, it's complicated. it's complicated, that's what he or she just said. Um, actually, it's not that complicated because after the pizza, I will take an Uber back to the hotel. Hey, it's a nice area. I do like this area of Brooklyn. I like it more than where I've been earlier. What was it? Park Slope and South Slope. Didn't like that so much. Here, Franklin Street, this area here, I like. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Screamer's Pizzeria. Let's go in there. The bathroom at Screamer's Pizzeria is epic. Look at it. Highly recommended. 